back to my family's got guts. Ben Lyons here with preliminary tournament action between the Burnham Killer Bees and the Green Machine. In the lead with 30 points, it's the Red Squad, the Burnham Killer Bees. Let's take a look how they got there with the highlights. Here you have the Red Squad using their knees. Christy's going to feel that one in the morning on the street hop. Ow, I just got some pain just watching that. Then Tanya struggles on the log rolls. The Sky Bridge swallowing up the Red Squad in Free Run City. But Caleb also struggled on the street hop. Check him out, falling off our course. Good thing our Guts crew is there. Safety first, folks. Then it was Tony over on the wedges. Too little, too late for the green team. Both teams tied with zero points. I guess Free Run City was the winner in that one. Over to Vert Ball, where we took things high above the arena floor. Jacqueline throwing across the arena. The green squad tried to catch, but they tried to play catch up. They couldn't hold on as the red team was victorious. 30 points in Vert Ball. Asha, both our teams had a tough go at it in Free Run Certainly City, did. but were able to collect themselves in Vert Ball. This is going to be a fun one on the crag. Definitely is. Now they had some tough decisions to make as to who would climb the crag. Let's go to the matchup to find out who they picked. Well, it's going to be Christy for pure power and Paulina for grace under pressure for the Burnham Killer Bees. And for the Green Machine, it's Caleb for killer competitiveness and Tony for spider-like agility, Ben. The aggro crag siren call is luring our teams even closer. The mountain is rumbling, and the time has come for both our families to take on the legendary rock. Our competitors will start at base camp, where player number one will attempt to make it through a blast of arctic steam and up the ice serpent switchbacks. Then, it's a fierce climb up the skeleton stalagmites while facing the fury of the frozen lava storm to reach Avalanche Peak. But oh my friends, that's only the beginning. If player number one makes it to Avalanche Peak, he or she will have to activate the ice portal behind which player number two awaits. Once the frozen gates of the ice portal open, then player number two will have to steel themselves against the chill fear in their hearts and traverse the glacial gorge and face the cliffs of the vertical freeze. This is the actual face of our mythical monster and two of our players will be staring right into it as they attempt to surmount the 22 foot high sheer climb out of the mist and the fog. For this is the only way to the summit, the crystal peak and victory. Let's go to Asha for the rules. Well, since the red team is in the lead by 10 points, they've actually earned a one second head start. So, player one will start and they must set up all three actuators before activating the ice portal. Then player two can begin the vertical climb. Each team has their own side of the crack to climb and conquer. And of course, first team to the summit wins the game, Ben. We've got two guys for the green squad and two ladies for the red team. This should be a lot of fun. The aggro crag is rumbling. Asha, take it away. Red team, you'll go on my whistle. Green team, you wait for the judges. On your marks, get set. Boys versus girls here against the mighty aggro crag, who will be victorious. Both our teams heading up to the skeleton stalagmites, activating those actuators. Down comes Avalanche Peak. Our aggro crag is rumbling. The green squad, the first to open the ice portal. There goes Tony, heading up the vertical freeze. Tony making his way towards the top. The red squad has to hit those final actuators. There it is. The ice portal has been opened over the glacial gorge for Paulina. Tony struggling halfway up. Oh no, he lost his footing. Can he regain his composure? This has opened the door for Paulina and the Burnham Killer Bees. It looks like we got a brace right here, folks. Who will win? It's going down between the Green Machine and the Burnham Killer Bees. Tony getting tired, running out of breath. Does he have enough left in the tank? It's going to be tight at the top. Paulina loses her footing. Tony is the winner. The Green Squad, the Green Machine, the first to the top. Wow. The green machine looking like a well-oiled machine as they take on the legendary aggro crag. Let's go to the replay. Gosh. There you see the red squad heading up those switchbacks. The aggro crag was rumbling today, folks. The green team hitting all the actuators and opening up the ice portal first. The red team couldn't quite get it together. She couldn't find the actuators. You gotta hit all of them. It was close for a moment. Paulina gave it her all, but it was Tony and the Green Machine who are victorious. What a race to the top of the aggro crag. 
You guys are today's winners. Take your slide to victory. There it is, the big fella. Come, bring out your teammates here. Come celebrate. The Green Machine is going on to the semi-finals. Asha, come give them their first piece of the aggro crack. Here it is, Green Machine. Here is your piece of the yeah. mythical aggro crack. Hold it high for victory. Good job. Now the Green Machine is going on to our semi-finals. Asha, what does this mean for the rest of our Well, tournament? are you guys excited about the semi-finals? Yeah. Okay, you're going to be taking on the A-game Andersons. But what I want to know right now is, do you have a... They got guts, you got guts. We'll see you next time right here on My Family's Got Guts. Great. Now give me five alts. <laughs>